Hey guys, my name's Raylazor and welcome back to Square Mew, the game that proves how bad I'm at counting. So let's begin on level 12 instead of 11. And we're brought into a gimmicky room in that there's no really specific uh, design for this level except for the fact that they drew something. You can tell that those tomatoes are their eyes and I believe it's... I'm not sure what this tail thing is, frankly. Maybe it's a hare? Is it a dragon? I have no idea. I don't want to move it around too much in case you want to give it a guess, but I do need to navigate around, so... Uh, keep it in mind what this thing is looking like. I think it's a dragon because of this curly tail, but... I don't know, if you're watching and you're commentating, let me know what you think this thing is. I'm going with a dragon because of this curly tail. It could- it, maybe it's not a curly tail. Maybe it's an- like, a, an onion fry. What, what, what do you call them? Fried onions? Cur curly fries? Curly fries. No, curly fries are actual fries. Onion fries? Fried onions? I'm not sure what you call them. I, I, I don't really eat those. No, I like regular fries. And, and this topic is relevant because we are, in fact, eating right now. So, it's okay, guys. I, I know what I'm doing with my commentary. I, I presume that's a foot and a hand. A mouth. I want to get those tomatoes first, so... Let's take out this buffalo and leave that mud man up top. Or a gravy man. He could be delicious. I'm assuming he's not because everything else here isn't delicious. Unless cooked. But uh, that's our level 12 complete. And hopefully I'll cross this off properly and not accidentally go a level over. Uh, here we're introduced to a new block. This uh, weird oil spell thing. Which, if I can get rid of this guy first... Ah, uh, that's good enough. You actually slide on it, and the big problem is that you're unable to use your mouth when you're sliding on it. So, be super careful when you're dealing with those blocks, because you might accidentally slide into your enemy. In this case, the monsters don't really care. It's a, a nice relaxing oil massage for them, I suppose. Um, it's not really relaxing. It's probably just someone's saliva. Maybe someone's stale urine. I'm not sure. It's a dungeon, and I'm a little bit confused, uh... You know what? No, it's probably cooking oil, because there's, like, pies here and everything. <laughs> Honestly. Who takes the time to go into a dungeon and put, like... I, I Put, like, luscious pies and grapes everywhere? Like, man, those are the most delicious-looking grapes I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen such bulbous purple grapes in my life. It's amazing. You even got, like, a fried egg on the ground? It's amazing. Maybe, maybe these guys are chefs. M maybe I am just a terrible customer storming into someone's kitchen, killing everyone, eating the chefs, and then eating the food that they're preparing. Albeit, they're not very good at preparing food since this is very unsanitary, but... Hey, you do what you got to do when you're in a dungeon. I suppose. I want to go after that grape first, so if you would move, that'd be great. Or you can just hang out there. I'm okay with that too, I suppose. Just wait for you to uh, move over. It's probably very easy for young Ray Laser to beat this game because I had a lot of patience as a kid. I presume I don't have any anymore, but it's alright. Let's trap you in and eat you up and complete this level. Awesome. And with our next level, we have just have a lot of grease spells to navigate around. What I like to do on this floor is eat the food items first so I have more space to move around. Another thing you can do if you're having difficulties with this area is to just simply put blocks over the oil slicks. And to make sure you get out of the way of these things and play it safe because you don't want to die. Uh, unless you do, I mean that's an odd way of playing square meal but hey I can't stop you. You do what you want, I suppose. Eating the skeletons of my fellow kind, but I'm just going to call them buffalo because that's what I see them as. You see, I'm Canadian, and we have a tendency of talking a lot about dead buffalo skulls. <laughs> so that's, that's a thing. We're introduced into a gelatinously green-looking block here, and it's a block that basically bounces back and forth. It's really dangerous, and it can kill you as well, so you gotta be careful with them. Alongside this, let me dispose of this guy somewhere else. But, you can also bounce other blocks off of the jelly blocks, which will stop promptly when they don't touch a jelly block. 
Uh, it's a little bit annoying and difficult to navigate around when you have a bunch of them moving, so be careful. And make sure you don't accidentally shoot yourself with your own rock when you're navigating around said jelly blocks. Um, yeah, they're probably the number one reason why I get killed a lot, so I'm gonna try to be careful around these things since I don't like repeating levels. Although, I've already repeated levels before. Ah, alright. I'm just gonna have you wait there for a second, because I want a carrot. Oh, oh, okay. Food item? Um, did- Oh! Uh, am I supposed to do this? Where am I going? Can I come back? I- I- I can. Oh! Alright, Buffalo, just take it easy, man. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 okay, hold on. Take it easy, but oh, okay. See you later, buddy. Um, right, I'm gonna go look for my carrot. I'll be back. Is there a carrot back here? Any, any carrots? Maybe my carrot is based above? Um, well, this is why I'm not going for every single food item if I can't. This, this is weird. Wait, does this mean I can... I'm gonna back up before I accidentally kill myself. Oh. Okay. Sh sure? Sure. Whatever. Alright. Ah, I wanted that carrot. Ah, what a terrible, terrible, cruel fate. Ah, come on, just run in there. Launch two after you. Alright. Let's eat this Bones character and be done with it, I guess. It's probably the other reason why people don't really get high scores on this game, because a screw-up like that means you have to restart the entire game, or else you lose your score and progress. Oh, and that noise. Yeah, that that's also a thing, apparently. Um, wow, not a very good selling point for the game, but I guess we should be fine. I don't want to get into that buffalo's path if I don't have to. And let's take these guys out one by one, cautiously. Go after a pie. And we'll just pick up this block while we're at it in order to go after this man right here. I'll wait for you to turn back so I'm safe. Or turn back again. It's too late, really. You're already dead. And now you're double dead in my stomach. It's pretty good. This level is also a little bit tricky. Because you can't navigate through spikes, as said previously, but you have a tendency of sometimes accidentally trapping the monsters in a corner or where you can't get at them. So you gotta be careful and play both spots. By that, I mean that there's also a spot down here, if you haven't noticed, where you can shoot blocks back and forth. If you try to go for every single monster from that one spot up there, you're probably going to trap the monsters and screw up and have to restart. But otherwise, this is pretty much a waiting level. It's one of my least favorite levels because you don't really get to do anything interesting with it. And I'll eat you as well. Let's try playing down here since they have a tendency of coming down here as well. Unless those guys are going up, which they are, I suppose. Are you turning to the right? Maybe you're walking in a circle? I, I guess you are. Oh, I guess you're not. That's okay. I'll wait for you. With my... Ugh, this guy has not slept for a while, has he? Those eyes are wide open. They look bloodshot or yellow. It's... I don't think eyes look like that. <laughs> eh, whatever. They look like those things that you would probably see for uh, advertised to little kids. Like Monster Z. Oh boy, monsters. Yum, collect them all. Oh, look at how cute they are, when they are probably actually really horrific. When you start this level, you shouldn't do what I just did, but rather, you should grab a stone block in case this fish guy chooses to come after you immediately. And I like hanging out here and waiting on the buffalo to come into my sights before I take them out. And then I'll just work around, get the food items, and then finish the level. Easy peasy. There's still two food items below though, so let's go after those. A nice lovely, uh... Toast and eggs. Great breakfast, great way to start the day after having a nice nap on a dungeon floor. 
covered in probably food grease, spikes, uh, all sorts of disturbing fluids, and etc. <laughs> hey, you do what you gotta do, I suppose. On the bright side, the food here is delicious! Why did you turn around? Oh, that was... <laughs> that wasn't right. There were some evil intentions behind that one. I can see it. Fight me. Ha! Alright. Let's take these guys out. It's generally not too difficult because steel blocks just do this. I don't know what you're doing. You're stuck in corridors, so as long as you have a block, you shouldn't have too much of a travel navigating through this level. Alongside, there's not that many food items either, so... Check that corner down there. Yeah, we're pretty much good to go. He's gonna run into that steel block if he goes all the way to the left, so we can just end this here. Lovely. I'm pretty sure we're going on to level 19 now, so... Hopefully, I don't accidentally do more levels than I should. Also, the fish things can apparently fly over more than... Two blocks, I suppose. It's, they're also kind of glitchy in that sometimes the monsters end up on top of the block that you just hit them with. Which obviously isn't supposed to happen because they bounce every time you hit them. But otherwise, we probably shouldn't have too much of a difficult time with these guys. Before I kill that gravy man right there, I want to go after that apple. Yeah! Oh, and there's a grape too. Lovely. Could have missed both of these lovely morsels. M maybe they could be covered in viruses and bugs. Maybe they're actually rotten. I don't know. All right, let's go on to what I'm assuming is the final level. We'll do a quick level check afterwards. But in this level, we are introduced to the bomb block, which is um, if I can first kill these guy, this guy. Oh, yeah, you can hit them and then they will uh, explode. They kill things. They're pretty nifty. The unfortunate part about them is that you don't get any points for blowing up enemies, and they can also blow up your food items. So more preferably, you want to pick one up in your mouth, you'll notice the counter is still going down, spit them out and pick them up back up in order to reignite the fuse, and hit something with it. Of course I just blew up my own apple, but since I don't want to restart the level, I'll just leave it at that. Alongside with how I just blew up like two monsters earlier, no worries about it. If you're going for a perfect run, you'll probably just want to focus on trying to navigate around and hitting the enemies with it. With that, is that level 20? No, no, did I just do another 10, 11 levels? Did I? Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, wrong number. Hold on. Level navigation. Great, I just did another 11 levels. I'm not very good at counting. Alright, well, I guess in the next one we do level 22 to 30. We're probably just gonna do 22 to 31, honestly. I'm apparently not very good at counting. <laughs> I'll see you then.